Okay, this is going to be the mood head demo, or uh, emotion head, as uh, Max would prefer. Uh, you know you picked your moods, and um, I have a, a list of them online if you can't remember it. You've researched what that mood looks like, you've got a bunch of pictures, and you've written down um, similar characteristics of each what constitutes a happy face, for instance. Uh, keep those in front of you as you work. For tools, I just have a, a regular cloth, which prevents the clay from sticking to your surface. Uh, I've got a putty knife, a nail file, and a nail. Uh, those can be helpful. A little bit of water, too, if your clay is very uh, dry by the time you, you get to it. Your goal is to make the emotion clear, and you, you, this is expressive. You could do whatever you feel you need to to make that uh, emotion clear. Uh, you might be able to do it just with shoulder, head and shoulders. Maybe you need arms and hands. Uh, don't do any more than that. You know, start from the torso. Um, but I'm going to show you just your standard head and shoulders uh, version. Okay. Um, the wrong way to do it is to make the head and shoulders separately and try to put them together. Uh, they will eventually fall apart that way. So you want to do head and shoulders in a mono block, and I'll show you how to do that. First, um, this is a, almost a cube, and you want something more like uh, a deck of cards, say. Wedge it, uh, something that might work better, okay, like that. And then going to draw on it uh, a head, a little outline of what I want to do. Okay, head and shoulders. And then going to cut that out with the uh, putty knife. And if you don't have a putty knife, a normal household knife would, would work just fine. Okay. Okay, got that. Um, next I'm going to do a similar thing from the side. What would a side view uh, look like in simple terms? Um, I know the head is uh, curved. It goes... In, we've got a big, um, and the shoulder, this is maybe the more important thing. Uh, the shoulder is rounded. So, shoulder is rounded this way, you've got a chin, you know, under there, and a little bit round head. So I'm going to uh, cut those off. And only go in here to the point of the uh, neck. I'm not going to go too far with that. Um, the reason is the neck curves this way, but it also curves this way. It's very complex, um, and so you want to be careful in um, forming it. The shoulder, by the way, the top part of your shoulder is not in the middle, but the collarbone sits back a little bit. That's why it goes um, like that. And you've got shoulder blades in the back, too. You'll know that. Know your anatomy, I think, from other classes. Okay. Um, there you see, now I have to do a chin of some sort. So again, I'm forming the neck this way and that way. 
Okay. Good enough for now. Um, now I'm going to look at the head. And I really want it to be an egg uh, this way. And so um, chunking some off and then doing some squishing too. Um, the worst way to do this assignment is just to make a sphere and to draw a face on it with a nail. I mean, that's a cartoon. We're trying to sculpt here. And um, so the more you can uh, show features through form rather than drawing, uh, that's a better uh, sculpture and really more impressive as uh, something uh, expressive. Okay. Um, good enough now for that. Okay. A little round in, in the head there. Um, so next you want to press down for eye sockets and pull out or add for the nose. Um, again, it depends on what mood you're going for. If you need a really severe brow or not. Um, a Q-tip is good. I don't have a Q-tip to get that that shape in there. Um, I'm going to add for the nose and add more than what I need because uh, it's easier to carve away uh, once you get going. Okay. Okay, so that hopefully is that it. Um, gonna add a little bit more for the chin before I put in a mouth. And then with the nail file, it just happens to be a good width. Uh, put a mouth in there. You could even <laughs> make it kind of large. Oh, okay. For eyes, um, dig a hole first. Uh, fairly large, because then we're going to drop a real eyeball in there. Uh, I'll throw in nostrils here while I'm, while I'm at it. It's looking kind of scary. All right, rolling up an eyeball, dropping it in there. Another eyeball, dropping it in there. Um, and then you could really start to work with lids. Um, the pupil itself. Looks like I need a little more clay in there. The head of uh, the nail, or head of a pin, is helpful in this regard. It certainly could use refinement. I'm just kind of spinning through so it's not so long a video. I'm going to put some ears on there. Uh, ears normally pin uh, back. And hair, um, 
you can add, you know, in little drabs. Let's give them a quick mohawk here. And even then, um, draw through it, depending on, you know, depending on what style you want. Uh, keep it rough. Okay. Uh, let's see what he looks like. All right, I think you, you kind of get the idea. I haven't really done much with the back, but I'm sculpting rather than drawing, um, going in and out and layering a little bit, looking at proportions, okay? Um, if you need, you know, you can't do it all in one sitting. So if you want to put your work away, wrap it in a wet paper towel, um, put it in the bag, and then, you know, pull it out again later. Take a picture if you want me uh, a little feedback halfway through. Do a 360, you know, spin it around. Um, I could give you feedback. Um, when you're finished, finally uh, put it out on a flat surface to dry and just let it air dry. Um, two other things. Um, if you want to add arms and hands, for instance, um, you know, you can do that. You kind of roll them. Uh, roll them out and figure where would they, you know, where would they position on uh, a normal torso. When you're putting two pieces of clay together, you want to rough up uh, both surfaces. Okay. Uh, add water to both also. Um, if you have diluted clay, it's called slip, you might know that, and that's helpful too to throw in there. And then press that together, okay? Um, <laughs> I don't know how this works as an arm, but just show, trying to show you how that would work. Um, hands deal with as, as mittens before you deal with them as, um, you know, five fingers. So, I don't know what we want with this guy. So there would be a mitten. Uh, your hand, this is kind of small. The hand is as large as the face. So uh, let's call that a too small hand. And then you can divide it up uh, into fingers afterwards and work on it that way. But that's better, you know, that'll, that'll hold together better by drying. So arm uh, squished into mitten and then fingers. This looks kind of hilarious. Okay. And then even then you can uh, twist it, to whatever you want to do with it, okay? Uh, I think that's it. Okay, um, this is really like a sort of a three-day project, maybe a two-week project. So um, let me know if you're having trouble, you have any questions. Otherwise, just photograph the thing from, you know, front, back, and side uh, while you submit a, uh, a fin finished piece. Okay.